The Indian financial services sector has various expectations from the Honourable Finance Minister in this year's Union Budget 2020. For example, uh, the banks in India are quite concerned about the whole NPA crisis uh, that has been there for some time now in the economy. Uh, it, there are certain uh, tax deductions that uh, are there for provisions that they book for non-performing assets. Unfortunately, the deduction that they get for income tax purposes gets capped out at certain limits provided under the income tax law. It will be good if uh, the Honourable Finance Minister could consider these provisions and eliminate these uh, limits that are sitting in the domestic tax laws so that banks that are booking provisions for non-performing assets get a full 100% tax deduction for these provisions and thereby streamline the provisions uh, in accordance with what's there under the Reserve Bank of India guidelines. Uh, the second issue that's important to banks is, and this is for foreign banks in particular, is that they would like to have parity on the corporate tax rate that they pay in India. Today foreign banks are taxed at a very high rate of uh, a little over 40%. Uh, in last year's, um, uh, the finance minister had actually reduced the corporate tax rates for Indian corporates, uh, which included Indian banks, uh, thereby the foreign banks would like to see um, uh, a treatment on par on corporate tax rates, wherein their rate could be brought down from the current 43% to the Indian corporate tax rate of around 22%. Um, if the finance minister wants to levy a uh, tax on profits distributed by the branches of Indian uh, branches of foreign banks, uh, she could consider doing that uh, as a compromised uh, position. If I look at uh, asset management, uh, they have a separate set of issues as well that they would like uh, um, acceded to. So for example, f overseas fund reorganizations, which has been an old issue of the industry, it will be good if uh, the finance minister could give tax neutral treatment to overseas fund reorganizations, subject to these reorganizations being treated as tax neutral in the home country.